How does a penniless youngster with nothing more than a dream build a brand as globally recognized as Nike? This question rings loud in the minds of many. It's an enigma, isn't it? A conundrum that has left many curious, from business students to seasoned entrepreneurs. Today, we embark on a journey into the life of the man who achieved this extraordinary feat. This is the story of Phil Knight, the driving force behind one of the most iconic symbols in global brand history, the swoosh. Born in 1938 in Portland, Oregon, Phil Knight didn't come from a wealthy family. His parents were hardworking individuals who instilled in him the values of hard work, integrity, and sacrifice. His father was a lawyer turned newspaper publisher, and his mother was the rock that held the family together. Knight was a gifted athlete. In high school he ran track and continued running in college, earning a scholarship to the University of Oregon. It was here that Knight met his mentor, Bill Bowerman, the legendary track and field coach who believed that better running shoes could significantly improve an athlete's performance. After college and a stint in the Army, Knight enrolled at Stanford for his MBA. In his thesis he proposed that superior athletic shoes could be manufactured in Japan, just like cameras and radios. This concept was the seed for what would eventually become Nike. Returning to Oregon Knight reached out to Bowerman with his idea. Bowerman was impressed and agreed to partner with Knight. The two men each invested $500 to form Blue Ribbon Sports, the precursor to Nike. They began importing high-quality, low-cost athletic shoes from Japan and selling them in the United States. The journey wasn't easy. They faced financial struggles, legal battles with rival companies, and even skepticism from those close to them. But Knight and Bowerman refused to give up. They believed in their product and in their dream, and were willing to risk everything to make it a reality. In 1971 Blue Ribbon Sports was rebranded as Nike, named after the Greek goddess of victory. The iconic swoosh logo was designed by a graphic design student for a mere $35. The road to success was still bumpy. In the early days Knight and Bowerman sold shoes out of the back of their car at track meets. They faced a legal battle with their Japanese suppliers which nearly bankrupted them. But through it all, they remained resilient and focused on their vision. By the end of the 70s Nike had surpassed its main competitor and was the top-selling athletic shoe brand in the United States. Today, it's a global powerhouse, a testament to Knight and Bowerman's vision, resilience, and belief. So what can we learn from the story of Phil Knight and Nike? First, it teaches us the power of a simple idea. Knight saw an opportunity to improve athletic performance with better shoes, and he pursued it relentlessly. Second, it demonstrates the importance of perseverance. Knight and Bowerman faced countless obstacles but they never gave up. They kept pushing, kept fighting for their dream, and finally, it reinforces the value of belief. Knight and Bowerman believed in their product, in their vision, and in themselves. They were willing to take risks and to work hard to turn their dream into reality. The story of Phil Knight and Nike is a testament to the power of a dream and the determination to make it real. It's proof that even a poor kid with no money can create a global brand. It's a reminder that with a simple idea, perseverance, and belief, anything is possible. From a young athlete in Oregon to the founder of a global sportswear giant, Phil Knight's journey is truly inspirational. His story is a powerful reminder that dreams can become reality, that perseverance pays off, and that belief in oneself can overcome the greatest challenges. It's a tale that proves that it doesn't matter where you start, what matters is where you're going and how you get there. So, the next time you lace up your Nikes, remember the story behind the swoosh. Remember the dream of a penniless youngster who dared to dream big and the